I will show you three Sudoku strategies that solvers overlook so often they don't even talk about it. And with that, it's solving time. Our first strategy leads to the fastest and easiest solves. You might notice with these twos and this two, there's only one place for a two in block five. And then with these twos and these twos, there's only one place for a two in block nine. These are called hidden singles. Greetings, friend. I will show you how to solve this Sudoku using three of my favorite strategies from solving hundreds of Sudoku puzzles. The last one's easily overlooked, so I'll share my special technique to find it faster. And to help you to find all three strategies faster, start looking for digit restrictions from one to nine. You might notice with the ones, with this one coming down the column, this one going across the row, you can solve for a one in block five. And then with these two ones, there's only one place for a one in block eight. So you're going to use those hidden singles. And then follow these ones and these ones, and you can solve for a one in block nine. Now, you might notice in block one, with these ones and this one, there's two places for a one. So you want to mark that so you show those restrictions. And then also in block four, with these ones, mark two places. And so if you've solved one of these cells, other than a one, you can solve the other one for a one right away. Help us find, help you find those restrictions. Now we did do some solves of the twos, but if you look again at the twos, you might notice there are two places for a two here in block one and two places here in block four. Move on to the threes. You got two places for a three here in block two. And then with this three cutting across, the row, you have two places for a three in block seven. No other marks or solves you can do with the threes. So move on to the fours. And you'll notice there's only two fours given. And with this four cutting across the row, you can mark two places for a four in block three, but don't rush to the fives just yet. Or you're going to miss strategy number two. So strategy number two, the way to find it is look here in block eight. You notice there's already six digits filled out a one, two, three, five, six, and nine. The only need is a four, seven, and an eight. Well, if you notice that the seven and eight look at this cell, they see it, share a row or a column, there's only one possibility remaining. That's a four, that's a naked single, often overlooked. Because if you find this four, you'll notice with the seven, you can solve the seven there and solve the eight there. Finding these types of naked singles will cut down one to two minutes on your solve time. So you can do it again. Look here in column four. You have a one, two, three, five, seven, eight. You just need a four, six, and a nine. Well, since the six and nine both see this cell, you can solve that for a naked single four. And with the six in the block, you know that's gotta be a nine, and this is gonna be your six. Okay, do it again. Look here in column five. You have seven digits filled out, one, two, three, Four, five, six, nine, you have seven and eight. Well, with the eight right here, you know, that's a naked single seven, and this is going to be a naked single eight. And then you can fill out the rest of block two here with a three and a nine. So that's a nice little naked pair for you right there. Then look here in block five. You notice that you can solve this for five to finish the block. And we're not done with the fours, though. So these two fours, you have two places for four right here in block nine. And then there's something really interesting here, why we do the markings, which you might notice is you have fours restricted to columns eight and nine in block three and eight and nine in block nine. When you see the situation, what you've done is not only found there's only two places for fours in blocks three and nine, but you know that there can't be any four in these six cells right here. So if you can't have a four in those cells, you know that you gotta have a four somewhere in block six, it has to be one of these three cells. And since you have a one right there, can't be a four, and you have a four in the row, can't be a four, this has to be your four. So this is another hidden single, a little bit harder to find because it's a hidden single for the column instead of a block. But using this marking, you will find that a little bit easier. So mark that four, and now you can do with these fours and this four, you can finish off marking the fours right there. Now move on to the fives. What you might see is with this five cutting across the row. 
and this 5 coming down, you have two places for a 5 in block 7. And since they're in the same row, they're a pointing pair. 5's got to be somewhere in the block, so you can't have a 5 anywhere else in the row. You put a 5 here, no place to put a 5 in block 7. So what that does is the pointing pair in this 5 restricts 5's to these two cells in block 9. And then with these 5's, you're going to restrict the 5's to these two cells in block 6. Nothing else with the 5's. Move on to the 6's. You might notice that with this 6 cutting across here, you have two places for a 6 in block 7, and the same two places as the 3's. So when you see this situation, you have found yourself a nice hidden pair 3-6. They can only go in these two spots, and so no other digits can go there, which leaves you with a 5 and 9 for these two cells. But with that 9 right there, you know that this has to be your 9, which displaces that 5, so you can solve the 5 right away. So nice job finding that hidden pair. And by doing the 5 and 9 here, you now restrict 4 and 8. Nice little naked pair here in row 9. And after finding that, nothing else you can do with the 6s. Move on to the 7s. With these two 7s and this 7, two places for a 7 in block 1. And then with this 7 coming up the column, this 7 coming across the row, two places for a 7 here in block 1. Four. And so it's a pointing pair. Go with this 7 and the 7 here. And now you can restrict the 7s in block 6 to those two cells. And then a bonus tip for you. You found something very cool here that you got to find if you want to solve this puzzle. So this, you notice how you have the 1s, 2s, and 7s in these three cells. So this has a 1 or 2, 2 or 7, 1 or 7. When you find this situation where it's just the marks of three different candidates restricted to three cells, you have found a hidden triple. The 1, 2, 7 are restricted to these three cells in block 4. They have to be uh, in the purple cells, and nothing else can be there. So it's a hidden triple of a 1, 2, 7, but it's also a locked triple, meaning that it's a triple for block 4 and for row 5. And so you want to mark this when you see these things. And this is another reason why you want to do some of these marks to help you find these restrictions. Because what it does is now restricts these last two cells in row 5 to be a 5 or a 9. Awesome stuff here. So you got to find that locked triple. And then with the 7s here and here, don't forget to mark those 7s there in block nine okay move on to the eights you'll notice uh with these two eights you got the eights there but they're already marked as part of the naked pair no big deal and then move on to the nines and you just have you know nine restricted here and here and so bonus tip go back through look for heavy houses and pairs this is how you're going to find that third strategy that no one really talks about so place to look is row three. So it got five digits. So any heavy house, you have at least five cells filled out. One, three, six, seven, and eight. You need a two, four, five, and a nine. Well, with the two, five, and nine right here in the column, this intersection, that's a naked single four. So that's going to save you some solve time to find that because what's the impact now? Think about the impact on the row, the column, and the block. Well, this place a 4 right there, and now you can solve this cell for a 4. And then notice with this 4, you displace the 4 in block 3. Solve that cell for a 4, allowing you to disambiguate the 8 and the 4 right there. And after marking that, look at the impact on the 8s now. Because this 8 and this 8 and the 4 filled out, you have a pointing pair of 8s now in block 3. You go with this 8 and the 8 in column 3. Restricts the 8s here in block 1, and also restricts the 8s there in block 4. Okay, you might also notice now with the 5s, because of these 5s, you can now restrict the 5s there in block 1. But that's about it for marking. 
And you're going to get stuck if you don't know where to look next for that third strategy. Now, something that everyone is talking about is how to keep a sharp mind. And that's where today's sponsor, Brilliant, comes in. Brilliant helps you get smarter every day with thousands of interactive lessons in math, science, programming, data analysis, and AI. It's perfect for Sudoku solvers. Brilliant strengthens your critical thinking through problem solving, not memorization. And since their lessons are mobile friendly, you can build a daily learning habit alongside your morning coffee. I've been going through their logic and everyday math courses again. And if you want to think faster and more clearly, this is where you start. To learn for free on Brilliant, go to brilliant.org slash smart hobbies. Scan the QR code on screen or click on the link in the description. Brilliant's also given our viewers 20% off an annual premium subscription, which gives you unlimited daily access to everything on Brilliant. Big thanks to Brilliant for supporting this channel. So you got to find and continue looking at these heavy houses if you want to find that third strategy no one talks about. We looked here in row three, but continue analyzing it. You got a one, three, four, six, seven, eight, and you need a two, five, and a nine. You mark this, and you'll notice that this can't be a nine, this can't be a five, and this can't be a two. Not a big deal until you compare it to another row. 259 here. You look here, what do you notice? You have a 59 in row 3 and in row 5 here in column 9. And this is the third strategy no one really talks about. These are naked pairs, but ones that appear in at least, well, in two blocks. So when you have one that appears in two blocks, they're harder to find, but they act as making this column now a virtual heavy house. Because now you have five cells accounted for. The one, two, four, five, and a nine. So five, nine can't be anywhere else in these four cells. So you'll notice is you need a three, six, seven, and an eight. Well, three, six, seven right here, this cell now has to be a naked single eight. So you can solve that now for an eight. And this is huge. You've got to find this if you want to make more progress in the puzzle. So after you find that, you want to look now at the impact on the row, the column, and the block. So after finding that eight, you'll notice with this eight and the eight here, only place for an eight in block six is right there. Allows you to displace that eight, solve this for an eight, displace this eight, Solve this for an 8, displacing that 1. And you remember, now you solve that for a 1, and you displace this 1. Solve this for a 1, displacing that 2, displacing that 7 of that locked triple. And then you just have now a 3 and a 6 here in block 4. Okay, now look across row 3. Can we do some more damage? Yep. With that 2, now you know this has to be the 9. Displacing that 2, displacing that 5. But also, with the 9 here, you can disintegrate the 5, 9, and block 3, and that helpful 5, 9 that you had to find in column 9. And then follow, look at row, column, and block impact. You can displace that 5, solve this for a 5. So attack the marks that you've made. That's where the greatest restriction is. That's where you're going to get your next solves. And you might notice with this 7, you can displace the 7 right there. Solve this cell for 7. Just leaves you with a nice 3, 6 up here. So how are you going to disambiguate all this? Well, notice in column 7, now you have a full house. 1, 2, 4, 5, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9. This has to be a naked single 6. And this is going to lead to a lot of solving, right? Because now that has to be a 3. That's your 6. Disambiguate in the 3, 6 up here, allowing you to disambiguate the 9 and 3 right there, 3 and the 6 right there, and now you have a nice full house, whoops, 8 and 9 cells right here, so you know you can solve this for a 6, and then you're looking in row 8, only thing missing is a 3, solve that for a 3, don't see a 3 in block 6, so that's got to be a 3, displacing that 7, Displacing this 7, allowing you to solve this cell for a 7, and our last digit is a 9. 
challenge yourself to apply the strategies and techniques you just learned to this next video. Thank you so much for watching.